Sick patients on ventilators have high risk of dying and many patients um, develop ventilator induced lung injury. So in IMT on the Bella Vista we've developed a tool called the lung recruitment tool which allows you as a user or, or the end user to have better knowledge of the patient's um, status. So the lung recruitment tool is a tool that defines the patient's potential to recruit. And that's the key word. How much potential will they recruit? Some patients will recruit. That means their lungs open up, recruitment is to open up. And sometimes patients, um, they either do badly or they do good. So we do this manoeuvre very early. So this tool allows us to maybe in the first one day, the first day of treatment, that we assess the patient early to avoid ventilator induced lung injury. So we're talking about enough pressure to make the, the lungs inflate with the, what we call the minimal volume, so we, so we can avoid volume trauma, but we also need PEEP as well to stop the lung from collapsing. So the lung recruitment tool is a very unique tool and, um, and, and on the Bella Vista really helps the end users do a much better job. Very, very easy. The patients need to be stabilised, number one. Number two, their blood pressure has to be good, all the risks have to be removed, and more importantly, because we have to pressurise the lung, the endotracheal tube cuff has to be overinflated to avoid leak. If we can do that, these manoeuvres are quite safe. So the patients we're looking at are patients who are at high risk of, for an example, early ARDS, patients at risk of of ventilator damage. And so the tool itself is very, very fast at doing this. We have a tool like this that takes us through this. And so the tool itself is very straightforward. We, we can make some settings over here in the, in, in, the, in the recruitment part, but recruitment is the assessment of the patient's ability to, re, to recruit. And normally we start from the current PEEP to see is the, is the current PEEP enough or if it's a new patient, maybe we should be starting from ZEEP, seeing if the lungs collapse, will they inflate? And most people would normally use between, say, 35 and 40 centimetres of water to pressurise the lung. We would normally try initially keeping the inflation rate, say, about 3 centimetres per second. That means we pressurise the lung by rate of pressure change, not by rate of flow. And we do either, basically we're doing an inflation manoeuvre and deflation manoeuvre. So we want to see, is there a difference between the inflation curve and the deflation curve? Patients who have a larger um, change are what we call hysteresis. And these patients normally respond very well to recruitment and to a higher PEEP. We have patients who have a lower uh, potential of recruitment. For example, those with bad pneumonias, or, you know, really bad lung disease, we would um, not respond so well. So, but the tool allows us to do this. So to use our lung recruitment tool, it's very, very straightforward. We only have, you can say, five adjustments to make for the assessment. These are single manoeuvres, so this is not continuous. Firstly is our current PEEP. So this can either be ZEEP, no PEEP, or a new patient, or the current PEEP. We make the setting there. We have the pressure we want to go to, which is number three over here. Most people would use between, say, 35 to 40 as the initial assessment. These tend to be quite normal numbers. Some people might need a bit higher, but these, on most patients with early disease, should be enough. The slope is how fast we inflate the lung. So on an assessment manoeuvre, we would normally say three centimetres of water per second, but for a recruitment manoeuvre, about five centimetres per second is, an, is about right. The pause is the easy part. This is where we hold the breath in for a manoeuvre. So for the assessment, it's zero, but as a recruitment manoeuvre, it would be about maybe 10 seconds to 10 to 20 seconds, depending on the patient. And the last part, which is the peak level, this is the new peak level we believe the patient should need after the recruitment manoeuvre.